Do you want to learn how to make these amazing wooden climbing holds for free? Okay, so let's get started on making these amazing wooden climbing holds. And if you're new here to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of these videos. They will be coming out sporadically. I'm actually opening a climbing gym in the town that I live at. So these are going to be a little bit more sparse, maybe a little bit closer together, hopefully. We can always hope. Okay, I want to be able to give back to you guys. That's the reason why I'm doing these videos. So the first thing that you need as far as tools go to make these wooden climbing holes is an angle grinder. Next is an abrasive disc. Okay, this is specifically for wood. You can get them out there on Amazon. I actually bought this one down at Harbor Freight. It cost me around 10 bucks. It works good, but I've also known, or I've also seen that it wears out quickly. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Next is a flap disc. Okay, this is basically pieces of sandpaper that is glued to the disc that goes around. You will need a caulk gun, some polyurethane construction adhesive, some type of saw to cut your shapes up, Lots and lots and lots of clamps. Clamps help hold everything together. Now, I also got to recommend using safety glasses, hearing protection, and also something to keep that dust out of your lungs because you are going to create a lot of dust. Now the type of plywood that you're gonna use, this is made out of plywood. That's how we get these different grains going on here that just, it looks beautiful. You can use scrap plywood and that's how this is going to become free is with scrap. Now, make sure that you get good quality plywood because if you don't get good quality plywood, the possibility of it delaminating and that's where these different layers start to pull apart is higher. You don't want that. Okay, that's also why we go with the polyurethane construction adhesive. So those are the things that you need. Let's jump into how you make these. I'll show you how I'm going through a process of making this bad boy right here. So the first thing that you wanna do is trace out and cut out the base of your shape. And sometimes the scraps that you're using will determine that shape, but if you're lucky like I am right here, you'll be able to have a big enough piece that you can actually design that starting point. Now, I've noticed that the base piece works out best if that's one solid piece, but if you're really good and precise with your lines, you can use different pieces to fit together like I'm doing here. So it's layer by layer, one at a time. And as you cut out each layer and start stacking them together, that's when you really start to see your shape start to come together. So here I am pre-drilling and cutting out the slots for the bolts because I'm using slots in this feature. If I was to use a single bolt hole, I would actually wait until everything was laminated together and then drill the single bolt hole because it's easier. Sorry to disappoint, but I glued and clamped this off camera because I didn't think you wanted to watch glue dry. So after the glue is dry, that's when you want to start carving it down. You know, first you want to use that abrasive disc, and then you're going to go back over it with the flap disc, and I use a 60 grit, and that's where I leave it. After that, you're ready to throw a stain on there, and it actually has a really good texture just like that. 
Hey Reese, what are you working on? What you working on? You making an awesome wooden climbing hold?